Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you what are the different ways you can upscale an image in stable diffusion. I will also discuss the pros and cons of different methods and which one is suited for which situation. So watch this video till the end. If you want to follow along, you need to have stable diffusion installed on your system. I have made a video where I've shared the step-by-step -step process by which you can install stable diffusion on your system. I've shared the link of that video below. You also need to have 4X Ultra Sharp Upscaler installed in stable diffusion as this is not available by default. To do that, you have to go to this website. I will share the link of this website below in the description. Right click on it, click on download as standard download. Once the file is downloaded, copy it, go to stable diffusion folder. Under that, go to models. In the models, go to ESR GAN folder and paste that particular file over here. I have already done that. And after doing this, if your stable diffusion is already running, you have to close it and restart it again. Along with that, you will also need control net. And I have also made a video for the installation process of that. So you can check the link in the description. And one last thing, you need to install an extension called Ultimate SD Upscale. To do that, go to Extensions, go to Available, click on Load From, search for SD Upscale, Ultimate SD Upscale will appear. Click on Install. So it is installed, we will check it on install tab and here we can see the ultimate SD upscale. I will apply and restart the UI. So to check whether it's installed or not, we will go to image to image. And here I will see, you will see ultimate SD upscale. So let's get started. So for the sake of this video, I have generated two images and now I want to upscale it by four times. So this is the first image I have generated. I have used realistic vision model. I have used this particular prompt. This is my negative prompt. I am using sampling method as Euler A. Number of sampling steps I have taken at 30. And resolution of my image is 512 into 728. And CFG scale I am using at 7. One thing you have to keep in mind that while you are upscaling, you have to save the seed or else some other image will be generated. This is the second image I will be using, which I have generated using prompts. Rest all the settings are same, seed is different. I have ensured that both these images have different lighting conditions so that we are able to analyze the upscaled image properly. So you might ask that why can't we just upscale the image by multiplying the height and width by 4. We can't do that because this will put lot of pressure on your VRAM and if you try to do that, you will get CUDA errors. So the right way to upscale is using high res fix. So what happens when you use high res fix? Here, the image is generated first and then the upscaling happens. By this way, there is less load on graphic card and stable diffusion is able to process the image. So to use high res fix, first we have to check this box. The upscaler I will be using here is latent because this is my favorite. But there are a lot of other upscale options available over here and I encourage you to try them also. High res steps I will be setting at 20. So how did I come at this particular number? So I have generated lots and lots of images and I have found that best results I get when I set high res steps at 20. Denoising strength I will be setting at 0 0.5. But I encourage you to try different high res steps and denoising strength. So here I will be upscaling at 2. But my aim is to upscale at 4. I can't upscale at 4 even using high res fix because my graphic card is just 8 GB. And when I try to upscale it by 4, I get CUDA errors. If you have 16 GB or 24 GB graphic card, you can try directly upscaling by 4. But I will suggest you a better method, where instead of 1, I will use 2 steps to upscale the image. So first I will upscale it by 2, 
and then click on generate. So this is the first image that I had generated with 512 into 768 resolution and this is the upscaled version. One thing you can notice that there is slight change in the image. And this happens when you use high res fix because there is denoising involved over here. So you have to keep that in mind. Same thing you can notice in the second image that I have upscaled that there is a slight change in face. So now after upscaling the image two times, I will send this image to extras for the next step. Okay, so I will be selecting 4x ultra sharp upscaler over here and I will scale it by 2. So first I had upscaled by 2 times and again I will upscale it by 2 times. So we will get a 4x image. Let's click on generate. So this is the 4x upscaled image that was generated. Let's see the details on it. To check that we will check the hair. So as we can see that there are a lot of details on the hair. We will check the eyes. So there are a lot of details on the eyes. Let's check the jewellery. This also has lot of details. This is the second image that I have scaled and as you can see, this has also got amazing details. If you want, by this way you can also upscale the image to 8x, wherein first step you upscale it by 2x and in next step you upscale it by 4x. You might think that why can't we directly send the image to extras and upscale it by 4x. Because that way you will miss on finer details of the image. Why am I saying that? Because when you upscale by latent method in high res fix, upscaling happens before the final image is generated. And by that, finer details are captured in the image. And if you directly upscale it by 4x in extras, you will never get same results. To prove my point, I will compare the image that I had generated before an image that was directly upscaled to 4x in extras. So this is the image which I had generated before. Let's zoom the hair here. And here also I will zoom the hair. So as we can see, the details are better captured in the first image when we compare it to the second image. In second method, I will be using image to image instead of high res fix. So this is the image that we have generated. Let's send it to image to image. We'll change this to 1024 and change height to 1536. So this will upscale the image by two times and we will set denoising strength to 0.5. Let's click on generate. So this is the image that was generated. Let's send it to extras and again I will upscale it by two using the 4x ultra sharp method. Let's click on generate. So this is the image I had generated using method one and this is the image I had generated using method two. So let's compare the details in both the images. As we can see that when we zoom both the images, the image generated by method 2 becomes blurry when we compare it to method 1. Let's compare the second image. Same thing I notice in the second image. The method 1 has captured better details when we compare it to method 2. So here we see that method 1 is the clear winner, but you might get different results when you try different kind of images like sceneries or anime or painting. So I would suggest you to try both the methods before coming to a conclusion. Now we will discuss the third method where I will use control net to upscale the image. So this is the image that we had generated before. I will send it to image to image. Now all these things are not going to change. I will set the denoising strength at 0.1. So for this particular method, you can play around with denoising strength from 0.1 to 0.4. Under this range, I get the best results. But for different images, you might require different denoising strength. Now I will go to control net. I will upload the same image over here. 
click on pixel perfect the preprocessor i will be selecting is style and model will i will be selecting is control net b1 fle so you have to ensure that you have the model which has e at the end and not u at the end because u is the older one if you don't have the tile resample preprocessor you have to update your control net and for that you have to go to extensions go to install tab and click on check for updates if your control net is not updated you will find new commits over here and you just have to apply and restart ui to update this now i will not change any the setting over here i will be selecting control net is more important then i will go to script and select ultimate sd upscale which we had installed before here i will select scale from image size this option means that this resolution will not be used and resolution that i enter here will be used and as of now i will be upscaling it by 2 i will be using 4x ultra sharp method here to upscale type i will set as default and scene fix type i will also keep at none so these are the settings that give me good result if there are some other settings you are using with which you are getting better result then do share it in the comment section now i will click on generate now this image we have got i will send it to extras use the 4x ultra sharp model and resize it by 2 and click on generate so this is the image that was upscaled by first method this is the image that was upscaled using second method and this is the image that was upscaled using control net so let's compare all the three images so as we noticed before also that image generated by in painting had become blur when we compared it to image generated by first method and here we see that the image that is generated is more pixelated another thing i have noticed that details in the eyes are a bit messed up in the control net method but in other two methods eyes are formed perfectly Now let's compare the second image. So this was generated by method one. This was generated by method two, and this was generated by method three. Here I notice that in case of second image that we are using, method two has produced the worst results. But again, the best details you will find in image that was generated using method one. When we compare eyes, still the best results we get in the method one, and in case of second image. eyes are not messed up that we saw in the case of first image when we compare the teeth the best details we find in case of first method so as we can see in our comparison the method one has given us best results this method is also my favorite and with this method it takes least time in stable diffusion to upscale the image but there is a possibility that you might get different results with the image you are using so i suggest you to try out all the methods that i have shown in this video with this we come to the end of this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos